loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And Romans 6.23 says, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The gift of God. This season, the time of gift giving, the time of thinking of a tree, the time of thinking about someone coming from the north bearing gifts is not what you think it is to be. For Jesus Christ came from the heavens. He was rich and yet he became poor. He came down from heaven, which the Bible says is north. He came as the gift of God. For God so loved the world that he gave a sacrificial love by God himself. God who came down in a, in a form of a man lower than the angels to have, to give eternal life the remedy for a condition called sin. The wages of sin is death. You're going to die one day. And because you're going to die, God has provided you a gift. The gift that God is reaching out to you is the Lord Jesus Christ. Who that you're supposed to, that is likely to be of this time of the year, supposedly the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ that you are led to believe in. And yet, when you walk around in the stars, you walk around in all the places, you look around on the internet, it's anything but the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm here to tell you that the gift of God is without cash, it's without check, it's without credit, it's absolutely free and it fits everyone, every size, every sex, every person, a whatever For God so loved the world. 
once again the third day according to the scriptures. You cannot find Santa Claus in the Bible, but I can find the Lord Jesus Christ in the death, burial, and resurrection according to the scriptures. For God so loved the world. And you've got, most of you have got a tree in your house today. And that tree is decorated with pretty little lights and tinsel and bowls. Let me tell you about a tree that begins all life. About 2,015 years ago, in Jerusalem, outside the gates of Jerusalem, upon a hill called Calvary, it's where the Lord Jesus Christ shed His blood for you. See again, the wages of sin is death. You've got a sin condition. Your sin condition is terminal. You're going to die because of your sins. But upon the tree at Calvary, outside the gates of Jerusalem, Jesus Christ died for your sins. You see, if you do not receive the Lord Jesus Christ and the Gospel, you cannot be with the Father. You cannot enter the gates of New Jerusalem. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. So it's not a Christmas tree that's to be worshipped, it's Calvary's tree where Christ died for your sins. Upon that tree, there are light bulbs that are red. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. There are lights on that tree that are green. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him shall have everlasting life. Green life. Life comes from Calvary's tree. It comes by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. The white lights represent purity. Behold, the Lamb of God, without spot, without sin. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. There's only one way to become white. It's through the life of the Lord Jesus Christ by the blood. In order to have white, you got to have the red to get the green. The gold tinsel. Our Lord Jesus Christ is a King of all kings. He's deity. He is God. He is our King. He is our Savior. Silver. Silver in the Bible represents redemption. He paid the price of sins that you may live. He offered to God and willing offering that God says, I am satisfied. Again, the tree upon Calvary where our Lord Jesus Christ gave up his life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son and those presents under the tree the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You better watch out. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. For the eyes of the Lord in every place behold an evil and good. If a man knows I'm sleeping, that guy's a pervert. He's a stalker. He's looking where he's not ought to be looking. But God, who is a spirit, knows everything about us. His eyes are in every place. You gotta realize, you gotta tell your children that Santa Claus is an imitation of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is a liar and the father of all lies. John 8, 44. I don't care your children.
lie. You lie to your children about a thing called Santa Claus, and you don't tell them about the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, found in the pages of the Bible. Wise men still seek Jesus, and fools say there is no God. Psalms 14.1 
his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Santa Claus never offered eternal life. But the Lord Jesus Christ not only offered, but gave of himself. And he may get broken gifts. How well are the gifts of the world? Visit your Walmart December 26th and see how well those gifts are. When well, they'll have more registers with gifts to be bought back than that will be bought. Your aunt may give you an ugly sweater for Christmas, but God will offer you love, joy, peace, long-suffering as an eternal gift by the Holy Spirit all upon His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. You're already in condemnation. Isaiah says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions. You are all sinners. Let me take that back. We are all sinners. I am a sinner under, under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are a sinner under condemnation. And thou shalt confess with thy sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Sanctify them through thy word, thy word is truth, the Bible says. And if you won't tell your children the truth, I'll tell your children the truth for you. There is no Santa, there is Jesus. Your children ought to be looking for Jesus, Titus 2.13, and rather a fat man named Santa. A fat man is gluttonous, that's a sin. That's a sin. There are no elves where I'm going. There are angels. I ain't going looking for the North Pole. I'm looking for New Jerusalem. A place where nothing ever breaks down. A place of no sin. A place of no sorrow. No health problems for a new body and forever to be with the one that created me, created me, that made me, that loved me, that died for me, that rose from the grave for me. And that ain't no big bang. Tis a season to be jolly. And time to take your diazepam when you get the bill in January. The major bill I have in my life, the one bill I can never pay has been paid by the Lord Jesus Christ, and you've got the same bill. It's called S-I-N, sin. Your preacher, your priest, your water, your church, your works cannot pay for sin. Only the finished work of Christ upon that tree. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For Christ died and was buried according to the Scriptures, and rose again according to the Scriptures. Santa Claus will give good boys and girls gifts. And he gives a lump of coal to the bad boys. And yet the Lord Jesus Christ will receive all that comes.
come to him. He is the mediator between all men, good or bad. Problem is, there's none good, there's none righteous, no, not one. So there are no good children. So Santa is lying to you by giving gifts to good children when the Bible said there is none good. And what's he doing giving a lump of coal, coal to a bad child when coal is used for fire? Giving bad children a little taste of hell, isn't he, cruel little guy? And then, you make your children represent Santa as Jesus Christ, as someone to pray to, as someone to write letters to, someone to, hey Santa, give me this, hey Santa, give me that, hey Santa, what about, hey Jesus, on your knees. You've got your children praying to a non-man with a Spanish feminine name. Santa means messes. You got a cross dressing God. You've got your children praying to a cross dresser. Isn't that sick? that guy with a woman name. And yet the Bible says pray to the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray to God. Pray always. Pray without ceasing. Oh Santa, please help my mom with cancer. Oh Santa, please bring my dad back. Oh Santa, what about oh God save our souls. Save us from our sins. Beside the cancer, bring us off to glory where we'll never have to worry about pain no more. But the place that Santa will bring you is a place of burning, a place of torment, being tormented, and tormenting. Santa can't save you. Only Jesus saves. He's making a list. According to numbers, so is God. God is a great bookkeeper. He's making a list of everything you've done, and are doing, and will do. And all those sins can only be erased by one eraser. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, let me tell you something. not coming to town, Jesus is coming. And you better be on this side of the tree, this side of the cross when he comes. Because if you are not saved, if you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, I know a great movie title that most of you know, you're going to be left behind. Your religion cannot save you. Who you are cannot save you. Your career cannot save you. Your works cannot save you. Santa cannot save you. Your publications cannot save you. And who you are cannot save you. Your baptism cannot save you. Your church cannot save you. Nothing can save you but the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, which cleanses us from all sin. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ cleanses us all from unrighteousness to receive Christ's righteousness. You've got to be in Christ to be in New Jerusalem. 
Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father. Oh, wait a minute. What did I just say? Doesn't that fat man call himself Father Christmas? He has stolen the identity of God like the Pope on the rope. Both Santa Claus, Roman Catholic, and the Pope, Roman Catholic, steal the Father title of God, Jehovah. But see, I'm not seeing Father Christmas. I have believed on the way. I have believed on the truth. I have believed on the life. And I have access by the Lord Jesus Christ to the Father, Jehovah, Lord God of all. And except Santa Claus repent and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, he'll be in hell with you. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, wait a minute. Ho, ho, ho. He didn't even get it right. Let me quote to you from the Bible what Santa is supposed to say. Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty. Santa's got it wrong. When I was growing up, the ho, ho, ho was a woman that you paid for. Kissing mommy under the tree, I guess. Adultery, fornication. I don't want ho, ho, ho. I want holy, holy, holy. Lord God Almighty. And then they are said by the holy cherubim that stand before the presence of God night and day. Your Santa Claus is a satanic version of God and His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. You've got your children hooked up with Satan through Santa Claus. You ought to bring them to the truth. Jesus saves. Jesus is the gift. The gift of God which take away the sin of the world. Jesus Christ is coming. Amen. It is Jesus Christ that's approved of God. It is Jesus that saves. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all of my days, because I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. The gift of God that fits all. I advise you, I am bringing to you the gift of God today, and I advise you not to exchange it. I advise you to take that gift and receive it by faith. Believe the gift of God for eternal life. It's a gift addressed to, the tag says, to whosoever, from God. And inside that gift, I'll tell you before you open it, is eternal life. It's a life in eternal. It's a everlasting life. It's a life that after you die, no more pain, no more sorrow, no more suffering, no more sin. And to forever dwell with the one, the God that made you. Or you can reject the Lord Jesus Christ. And hear the Lord Jesus Christ tell you at the great white throne judgment. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. You can hear Jesus say, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Or you can hear the Lord Jesus Christ say to you, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. One's a welcoming, welcoming condemnation, and the other is a damnable condemnation. Yeah, 
For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish. The gift is being offered to you today. That gift is the gift of God. Open it. Believe in it. Receive it today. Let this be the day that you are reborn into the heavens. Reborn by the Lord Jesus Christ. Let this be the day that your name is put into the Lamb's book of life. That you have believed on the only begotten Son of the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. It's all about the Lord Jesus Christ and nobody and nothing and not anybody else. You can believe the Lord Jesus Christ or you can believe his liar, Santa Claus.